wanted to check in on how your head, neck, all that's still and what happened there. I'm great. Good. That's good <laughs> what happened? I got hit. Part of basketball. Sounds good. Thank you. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Well, that is what I wanted. I wanted to check on your health and what, I mean, was that a, was that a neck or was the shot to the head or? No, I just got, I got hit in the, in the, in the, in the jaw. My neck kind of twitched. I'll be all right though. It's, uh, it's nothing. Get some treatment on it. Get some rest and be ready to go next game. Greg Logan with Newsday. Uh, James, uh, in the fourth quarter, you guys opened up from five point lead to 11 point lead, but then they they cut it to one. What was it? What is it that makes that such a hard team uh, to shake off? They just play with a lot of pace. You know, they got two guards that push the ball at a high level um, that, you know, put pressure on that rim. And uh, some other guys are knocking down shots, you know, so, um, you know, we just didn't do a really good job or a great job at, at loading up and getting back in transition. Um, but then again, they only had 23 points in our fourth quarter, so it's pretty solid. It was it was mostly that first five minutes of the game when we gave up 20 points. You know, after that, I think we held them to 86 or something like that. So it's pretty solid uh, for the rest of the game. Alex Schiffer with the Athletic. Hey James, uh, two porter for you. Just what'd you see out of Blake tonight, and, and kind of how do you go about learning a, a new guy on the team like that, given the condensed season, no practice time, etc. Um, first game, I mean, he looked comfortable. You know, we uh, we try to get him shots and try to get him in, involved. Um, but you know, Blake is gonna be gonna be very key for us just because he's versatile. Um, he creates mismatch problems, and he's a very very you know good passer. You know, so once we actually find sets and that it can incorporate him, that he can look for consistently and he can be prepared for. Um, you know, we'll be that much better. But I think for his first game, just learning on the fly, we know without really any practice time, he did a good job. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, James, can you talk about what you've seen from Nick or, or just over the weeks and over the days and just how you've seen his impact grow over these last few games? He's comfortable. He's comfortable and confident. You know, when you want a young guy, you know, don't don't doesn't worry about anything but playing hard and um, doing his job to the best of his ability, good things happen for him. And that's what we're seeing out of Nick. Um, he, he listens. He goes out there and watches film. And he, do, he goes out there and does his job every single night. You know, obviously, we all make mistakes. We all mess up. But his intentions are great. And more than not, good things are hap going to happen for you. Um, as far as communication, um, you know, try to help him get in his right spots and, and you know, teach him different things that it can be, it make the game a lot easier for him. Um, I think any young guy, though, just I think the game is so fast for them. Once they, you know, settle into a game in the season in a role and they get more comfortable, you know, the pace slows down and they're able to be more effective. Back to Greg Logan with Newsday. Uh, James, we, we don't get to talk to you tomorrow, so I'm going to ask about this coming road trip. Three games and four nights. Uh, the first two really tough at Portland and Utah. Uh, you've had like three grinded out wins in your past four games. How much of a test does this trip represent to a team that, that has championship aspirations like yours does? I think every game is a test for us. Like for us, we we we're not, we're not we're not allowed to take anyone lightly. You know, we're not we don't have the luxury of that. I think we saw that last game. Um, and so every night we prepare, you know, for our opponent um, to the best of our ability. And coaches do a really good job of that and to prepare us. And we go out there and try to execute. So um, I think our next opponent is Portland, who've been playing you know, pretty well. And we just got to take it one game at a time, you know, and, and that's the most important thing. We can't look you know, further down the line. And I think if we have that mindset one game at a time, one possession at a time.